Hi ladies! Today I'm going to be doing a video showing how I make my color acrylic. Um, now I'm using um, color pigments. This is cosmetic grade and non-toxic. Um, there was 15 colors for $40 and they came in a jar similar to this, just a little bigger. Um, and it's I, I love using the pigments because it's very easy to mix. Um, I have seen some videos where ladies use chalk. Um, I bought some so I could try it, make a video. Um, I have not tried it yet. I really love using my pigments because the color is super vibrant um, and it's really super easy to mix. And um, I don't have like uh, s certain uh, measurements or anything like that. I just kind of eyeball it. Um, the more pigment, obviously the darker color you're going to have, the lighter, um, the less pigment, the lighter the color is going to be. So, um, I'm going to be using Decor Clear Powder and White Acrylic Powder. So, you're going to need a couple of containers with lids, this way you can shake them. Um, I'm going to be putting these two together, this is a gold and this is a um, a pearl with a gold tint and then this is like almost a metallic green and I'm gonna add some glitter into this one I'm gonna add the recollections extra fine bling glitter this is really really super fine um, when I do make my color acrylic I tend to use only super super fine glitters I don't like big glitters um, in my acrylic and since I'm using pearl and the gold I'm not going to use any glitter because I don't want it to take anything away from the pearl so I'm just going to get started here so um, like I say I don't have um, any certain measurements this is usually what I use um, you can use you know regular measuring spoons so I'm going to go ahead and use the clear first. I'm going to put probably two of scoops of clear and then I'm going to put about two to three really big scoops of white. And then I'm going to open up the gold. And I want this super, super gold, so I'm, I am going to use um, quite a bit of the pigment. I mean, you don't need too, too much, because a little goes a long way with pigment. And then I'm going to use some of the pearl pigment. And this pearl pigment, like I said, has a hint of gold to it. So I think it would make really, really pretty acrylic. So I'm just going to dump that in there. And then I have this little mixer. It's got like a little spoon on the end of it. I'm just going to give it a little stir. Um, because the pigment is um, so fine, you know, you don't really have to mix it too much. Just get it in there, mix it, and shake it. I'm going to open it and this is when you can determine whether um, you want a little more gold um, or if you kind of want to just leave it and I'm not sure if you can get the full sparkle into this glitter but it is really 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 super pretty. Okay so I'm going to add a little more, um, I'm going to add a little more gold to it. Also, making your own acrylic, you can save a lot of money because some of the colors are not cheap. So then I'm going to just mix this up again or shake this up again. I 
Okay. I wish you could see the, okay, you can sort of see the shimmer in it. It is super, super pretty, but my camera is doing no justice for this. Okay, so now I'm going to clean my little spoons off and I'm going to do the green. Let me just get this cleaned off a little. I don't want any gold in there. Okay, so now I have another container. I'm going to do the same with the acrylic. <clears throat> You're going to use, um, I would only use about maybe two of the clear depending on how much you're making if you're putting it in um, something small like this I would only do like a couple clear and maybe three white and I want to save a little room because I am going to put glitter in this one FYI too, um, pigment is such a mess, like it's so powdery, it literally gets everywhere, but it does make really, really beautiful acrylic. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, I do want the green um, a little darker, um, so I'm going to kind of go ahead and put quite a bit of green in there. And I'm going to use some of the Recollections Bling, and this is the Extra Fine. So, and you don't really want to kill it with glitter. I know a lot of, look how beautiful this glitter is. I know a lot of people um, love to kill stuff with glitter, but I mean, I love glitter. Like, I love, love, love glitter. But... Sometimes you can overdo it with the glitter. So, wait, you know, let me shake, stir this up a bit. And then I'm going to put the lid back on. Now you just got to give it a good shake. And now you'll see what I mean about, um, the consistency of pigment that you use because literally you have no chunks like it's completely completely smooth just like powder so like if you use pigment over chalk it's so much easier it's so much quicker um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit more glitter in this one <clears throat> And I'm going to add just a tad bit more green. Um, I'd like it to be a little darker than what it is. I'm going to mix this. I don't know if you can tell, but it is super shiny. And my camera is just doing no justice for this color. But there, it is so, so sparkly. Super easy to make your own. Especially if there's like colors that you don't really see too often, like gold. Um, like a bronze color, sort of like this. Um, it's really, really fun to make and kind of you're kind of saving money at the same time. Um, and then you can make to what your customer or anybody looking for a specific color, um, you can get that for them. 
And like I say, when I do use um, the glitter, I use super, super fine glitter if I do mix glitter in with it. And I don't mix a whole lot, as you can see. So now I'm going to... Take the lids off the, that one again. It is so pretty. And I don't have very many gold um, um, acrylic colors, so this is really super pretty. And it's really easy to make. And like I say, all you need is just some clear and white acrylic. Um, I also use um, the decor pink. It's like um, it's like a clear pink, almost like a see-through. And that's what I will use if I'm mixing uh, purples or pinks or any kind of colors like that. I'll throw some of the pink in. But normally I just use the clear and the white acrylic. And then um, when you swatch it, you can, you know, if it's too see-through or um, it's not as dark or as light as you wanted, you can always add a little bit more clear, a little bit more white, a little bit more color, a little bit more glitter to get it exactly the way you would like to have it. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps. Others like myself um, wanting to know how to do your own acrylic colors, super, super easy and you can make whatever colors you would like. So thank you for watching my video guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.